Okay, let's continue with the key adjustments what we have. So right here, you'll notice we have additional options with the gain its sensitivity adjustments for our green screen. So we can actually set how sensitive we want for this. We also have a balance and the hue balance. The bolts that adjust emphasis of the chroma key, um, key so it's just affecting the range of the colors that affect. So example, right here we can use a balance and we also can switch key um, hue. So in some cases it's not that visible like other ones, but it does allow adjusting ours on a green screen. So then next below we have our main and we can go switch to the main status right here. Well, we can adjust the clipping of the background and you notice as we're doing clipping it will produce less gray so it's closer to the back uh, black so it's actually clipping those um variety kind of gradients and same or foreground so currently you can see with um Clipping them, we remove some of those grays, kind of emphasize more on a mask this way. As well, we have a rule back on the clipping. So right, you can see right here, we can start roll back on some areas. So I don't want to go very high. Um, as well, the gamma will help us to adjust sensitivity on the, the strings of the key. So we'll give it. And sometimes what's happening on an edge, you will still have it maybe green contamination other ones, and you want to kind of remove it. So in this case, also erode expand, it's take the edge, and it will um, kind of start eating inside almost of this edge. So let's go ahead, we'll just come closer like to this area. And if you notice right here, we have it, let's go to erode, and you can see how we kind of decreasing, okay? We're taking few pixels away so some case we can cut off or if, if we expand its opposite so we're getting this extra edge to this okay so let's go by default we'll go and set this to zero so we can have a little bit edge for us so we can work in the a bit later with suppress spell and other ones so we can look on that also notice right in the bottom we have an edge color which allows us to subtract this color so it will take edge and actually removing green uh, produce more or blue color and produce more as a gray like saturation so on this right here you can see how the saturation happen on these edges like the example okay and recovering it's actually take the color kind of try to expand but be careful because with the recovering, you can see if I do too big, you'll notice right here we start having this stretching on the pixels. So this one is kind of, you can do maybe like only a little bit if you need to recover some of the colors this, but it does produce this artificial artifacts kind of, so it does not work very well when you have it very high um, added on recovery, at least when you have a pattern to this. And mostly it will work well if you see kind of like dark edges in the images, you know, on an end, kind of like an edge. The cover will help to eliminate some of those edges a little bit off. So let's go ahead right here. We can also, as I said before, we can subtract and you can see kind of removing this edge. Okay, we have gamma. We can go back to a little bit below and you can see we have a nice transparency we have it quite a bit green going over but again this is a cast back on this so we can go and um later in a spill suppressions and apply to this to remove it and actually right here we can see it's slightly a darker kind of line so again and you can see how this recovery does remove some of these areas I'll go back for now. Okay, so next we have it removing by luminous luminous key. And let's look on 
Okay, so to work with luminosity, it's help if you have like black or white background, um, high key. For example, let's go right here and we'll just select this model and you can see we have an absolutely white background there. Okay, it's look a little bit weird. So we we'll go back to the keys. Let's go to disable after Chrome and we'll enable luminosity key. Go back to scale to feed. And you'll notice we have a dark key out. So we want actually a bright key out. And the same idea. So we have it remove based on the luminosity key. We have it our threshold adjustment. Okay, in this case, tolerance to the high key. We'll also preview main if needed. So in this case, if I do, I need to mask out and we'll look in the next how we can mask out. And as well, the going by intensity, lightness, and luminosity. And in this case, the by luminosity is work the best. So again, it, this luminosity key will use if you have um, darker black or white background shooting through. Okay, next we also have it erode, and it's similar to what we have before, but it's allowed us to um, work on a mask edge. Okay, let's go extend it. You can see we can also erode the edges. And again, this has worked very well if some of the edges need add extra kind of remove darker edge or add randomly kind of more dissipating. This is a road will work very well with this. Um, Erode also will help um, work with some camera producing problems with the edges where you have it some on a pixel. So it's work with some thickness of pixels. So we have it next alpha levels. It's uh, provide you adjust a kind of contrast levels of alpha channel. So it's additional fining tune of this edge um, and they provide you better control. So if you look in alpha, we have it a black and white way. Black will increase and crush uh, some of them in black areas uh, made to black and white will increase um, crush light areas. So if we go and we'll look on the mate at this point, you can see some areas. So let's go right here. You can see we kind of more crushing whites and let's go back to the black. And the same you can see we right around there. So we're crushing some of those black area so it's allowed us to kind of set more defined mask to remove some of those unnecessary transparency um, in some cases when you use it adaptive colors and adaptive colors it's help work if we start losing details like on a hair or some mesh and net so it's when you start using adaptive colors and combination adaptive colors with alpha levels you can kind of a little bit better add those details of the hair in this case. Okay, so alpha blur will add some blur to the um, kind of edge. And if you want to add some alpha blur, you can use like with low uh, resolution photography or some other areas, or maybe sometimes when you want kind of more blend in the background in some cases. So this is allowed to take in a blur a little bit more of those on our mate. Okay, so when we work with the uh, luminous key based on a br bright or dark background, in some cases we want to remove the color mating to provide a bit more on the semi-transparency area. So for these ones, we can go inside and we can also adjust our background. So it's help us to define, but it's mostly will work when you work with luminous key. So we have it also crop area and this allowed us to just the crop image from left right so you can see we can reduce and kind of narrow down this is will help also not just uh, to reduce information it's also help when with the key to work with a specific area so it's much easy to remove some of the necessary information than just work with the all image at the same time 
Uh, you can also, this is crop, it's provide, you can see just cut top and left. If you have a just specific object, you want to remove it or mask or bring back. For this one, you will actually need to go inside the mask and creating mask in that area. So then next we have it quite a bit important, it's a spill suppression. And I like this because combinations with after key chrome, okay, and with the spill suppression, we can remove quite a bit of this green um color with this splash back so let's go to spill suppression okay and you'll notice right here it's already start losing if you can see some green right here without you can see right here when it start removing so you can see how it's applied okay let's go enable here you can see it's already green removed so it's work very intelligent it's done very nice job so we have it when is a spill suppression applied before mask, mask or after we also have a different type of the settings in many cases spill simulation pro the work the best settings but you can go always to the basic standard settings or to the extended advanced and you notice as we change our properties as well will be changing okay let's go to advanced one okay, with the uh, additional colors and string if we need applied but how say the pro it's provide the best results so and here you can see we have it our view based result or spill map so right let's preview spill map right here we can see where the spill on the green is occurred okay and based on this we can uh, change our hue map so if you think it will apply a little bit more we can also switch balance Let's go just suppress a little bit and I also switch on a hue balance if for example green have a little bit the other casting so we can switch this way so if we go back and switch in the result you can see we very nice we removed almost all green color again it's here you can see right there so just add more let's add right here balance and as well add a hue range so you can see we removed almost all the spill with green with this. So it's a very nice combination between spill suppression and with um, after chrome key. So next, the light warp, it's allowed us to read background from your background colors and create this light warp on the edges. So it's even better blending inside model inside the, our background. And interesting things because if you watch my other compositing tutorials, when I take a model, a pen uh, extract here with a pen tool and put it inside the background, many of these um, steps usually I do manually. So it takes a little bit of time. Take edge, blur, convert, add distortions. And with the um, Photo Key Pro, this is already come after made it. So when I have the settings done, for this model next I can just import it and this will be apply on the fly so it saved a lot of time for us so right here let's go let we have it light warp and we have it blend mode lighting of course you have it all default add lightings soft light screen multiply so multiply it's a darken uh, light is make brighter and soft light it's more contrast edge so instead we'll just go back to the lighting so like here and we can see the size we applied so in some cases right here kind of harder to see because our background is darker but if we have it on a bright like in some areas you can see it will apply a little bit to this size right there so let's go ahead we'll bring it a little bit closer again and it's work very nice um when you have it lighter areas so example as of right here you can see we have this color we can go apply and you can see how it's already kind of apply this color casting. So and it's mostly tight because it's lighting, it's like light areas with the light and applied. It's work very well if your model staying um, up front of the lights and behind behind the light, behind the model. And it's helped to wrap and bring the model together. So in some cases when start to work more on a project and less looking on the properties we import you'll see how all of this will help us to sell this integration of this model in the background very well by utilizing all of these properties. Okay, so let's go right here. And the same if we go ahead and switch, for example, to multiply, which is darken, 
you'll notice how this edge is right here. You can see it's get darker before, so we can even bring more. So you can see it is kind of add more blending or dark, get it in. So this is very nice tool, light warping. And this we kind of overview settings. Again, don't worry if you don't understand or kind of um, we lose some of those information you kind of don't remember. When we start working more and more on a project and we go over this, this is, will help you to understand all of the settings and how they work.